everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and in today's episode of our Parse Crash course, we will start talking about live queries. A live query is a way for you to deliver data on real time to the devices. So, in order to activate live queries, I have to go to server settings, scroll down to web host and live query. I have to activate my back for app hosting, you can see mine is already activated, and pick a subdomain name. We will need this to access the live query, so it's important you choose the one. And also activate live query and choose the classes that we will be using live query with. So in this case I'm going to use with the class person. So after all that you just save. And if you go back to core and to my person class, you see I have all my persons here. So let's do some coding. If I go back to my code, the first thing I have to do is to uh, create a new live query client. So let live query client equals parse dot live query client. And then I have to instantiate a new client. So let client equals new live query client and this will receive a few parameters that will pass as a JSON object. So the first parameter is the application ID which you can grab from here. The second one is the JavaScript key. You can also retrieve it from there. And the third one is the server URL, which you can retrieve from your server settings and web host and live query. You have to put in, the, in front of your server URL WSS and two slashes. This stands for WebSocket in a secure layer, and then you're good to go. Then we have to create to open the connection to the live query. So client dot open, and live queries will filter all results with a query. So I have to create a query for my person class. So let query equals new parse.query and I'll query my person class and I have to create a subscription which will listen for events on that class so let subscription equals client dot subscribe to my query and now I'm ready to listen to events for that class so for this example, I will listen for update events, but on next videos I'll show you how to listen for other events. So subscription dot on, and every time I have a update, I will retrieve an object, which will be the object updated, and I'm going to arrow function this to a console log this object was updated in my object dot id so if i go back to my console and type node index.js you see my application is now listening for events on that class. So I'm going to put this on the side of my screen and open my Safari again, go back to core and person and let's scroll this here so you can see. I'm going to change my age from 38 to 39 and as you can see on real time I got the object ID of the changed object which is here. 
So if you need to deliver real-time data to your devices, this is the very best way to do it and with Backfrap it makes it really simple to achieve that. So on next videos I'll show you the other events that you can listen for on live queries. So I hope you enjoyed and have a good day. Hope to see you on the next episode. See you. Bye-bye.